Welcome back to another episode of Golf Science. Today, we have arts and crafts. Just kidding. Today, we're actually talking about golf tees. And believe it or not, this is the first iteration. All right, before the 1800s, this is how you actually teed up your ball. Ignore the Pro V1 logo. They didn't play those back then. All right, let's get our heads out of the sand. Let's get into it. Roll the intro. All right, first, let's do a quick rundown of golf tee history. Way back in 1889, we have our very first golf tee pack, thanks to two Scots, William Bloxham and Arthur Douglas. All right, this was called the Bloxham Douglas tee. Super creative, right? Basically, it was a rubber plate with a ball support that was created by prongs to hold the golf ball. A short year after this patent, actual peg tees, ones you stick in the ground, were actually introduced. So why was that? Well, come to find out, that rubber plate didn't stay in the ground real well. It flew down the fairway. It wasn't just your drives being striped down the course. So starting in 1892, you see a barrage of patents being introduced that look very similar to what you still see today in 2022, pegs in the ground. In 1920, we get to see the wooden tee, what we're all familiar with seeing today, and has become the standard, which was actually called the ready tee. It's the recognizable shape that we're all used to seeing. It's the wooden peg with the concave funnel top. The patent belongs to William Lau, a dentist from New Jersey. All right, history lesson over. Let's get back to 2022. For this test, we pitted three of the most popular golf tees against the good old fashioned wooden tee, or the one you find on your local tee box. All right, first up, we have the flight path tee, which says it's gonna give you longer and straighter drives, and it says it's proven. And next up, the four yards more tee, which let me guess, says it's gonna add four more yards. And my personal favorite, the martini tee, which guarantees, once again, longer and straighter drives. And last, like I mentioned, the tried and true wooden tee, guaranteed to be free at a golf course near you. All right, let's get to the testing parameters. How did we actually execute this test? All the club head data and ball data was collected with the leading industry standard Foresight GC Quad. Second, each shot was hit with the My Golf Spy Most Wanted winning driver and official test ball within My Golf Spy's facility. And lastly, tee heights were measured relative to ground level. We also hit 120 shots with each tee design, which totaled close to 500 shots. Here's the question. Will the modern tees that claim longer and straighter drives actually prevail? Or will a 100-year-old patent that's free at almost every golf course take the top spot? All right, now that we have all the parameters and all that history out of the way, let's actually find out. Let's dive into the data and see who wins. All right, first up, we're gonna take flight path versus the wooden tee. All right, let's start with launch angle. The wooden tee came out 0.4 degrees lower than the flight path. For spin, it was about 100 RPM less for wooden versus flight path. But here's where it gets interesting. When flight path actually claims to be longer, what we saw was the wooden tee, the free tee, was longer by 1.6 yards. Also, with just a couple other notes about flight path tee. They claim to be an unbreakable golf tee. This is definitively false. We found that tee to break four times during our testing. Obviously not unbreakable. All right, now let's get to four yards more, one of the most popular tees out there versus the free wooden tee. Launch angle between the four yards more and wooden tee were identical, 13 degrees. Spin, almost the exact same as well. Once again, when it comes to distance, the free wooden tee wins again. I guess they weren't four yards more. Wooden tee wins by 1.6 yards. One advantage of the four yards more tee though is having the identical tee height every time. All right, next up, my personal favorite, the martini tee versus the wooden tee. Once again, launch angles almost identical. 12.9 for martini, 13 for the wood. Spin, close to 100 less for the wood tee once again. But here's the biggest stat from the test we found. 
martini that claims to be longer and straighter was actually 7.8 yards shorter than the free wooden tee. Guess it's not gonna be my personal favorite anymore. But just a couple of tidbits about the martini tee. It was the easiest to set up for our testers, the most durable, and great for older golfers that have a tough time bending over and putting a ball on the tee. All right, at the end of the day, we are not talking about huge distance gains by any of these tees. But let's face it, these tee companies have been claiming things for years that are total BS. To wrap this up, there is clearly subjective, preference-based reasons that golfers buy certain golf tees. We get it. However, don't be duped anymore by all the marketing claims that these tee companies come out with and saying longer and straighter off the tee. It's just not true. And nothing beats the performance still to this day of the good old wooden tee. From now on, save yourself some cash. Just take the free tees. And until next time, I'll see you then.